In a turbulent period of Japan's history, during the age of the samurai, koshinage was a commonly used defense. It was a powerful technique for controlling the enemy, one that created time and space in which the defender could consider his next move. Today, koshinage techniques can be seen in judo, aikido, shorinji kenpo, and other martial arts. When faced with multiple attackers, your primary objective is to manage them, to buy time and create protective space around you. A well-placed koshinage will do just that. Koshinage can be used as a defense against many different attacks, including punches and kicks, as well as attacks with weapons. Although each type of attack requires unique moves and responses by the defender, ultimately all Koshinage defenses depend upon the same underlying principle, that is, blending with the motion of the attacker to carry the movement to its natural conclusion. Koshinage training is an excellent way to strengthen your lower body and improve your balance. Moreover, it aids in developing center and refining your sense of timing and the spatial relationship with your partner in blending. To escape the kick, step to the inside and simultaneously catch your partner's arm as he blocks. Bending your knees, move in and under your partner's hips, allowing your partner to pass over you. It is important to move in low and close and to use your entire body in the technique. This time, step behind as performing iliminage. As your partner comes around to face you, slide in low and move your hips under his to execute the technique. When defending against a punch, remember that a second one will likely follow. One approach to this situation is to immediately engage the first punch. When the punch is thrown, move to the outside and atemi to Uke's face. Use the attack to help make the throw. Remember that punches usually come in pairs. By choosing to work with the first punch, you eliminate the second.
If you decide to avoid the first punch, you must engage the second. Use Uke's attack to your advantage. Turn in toward your partner using your shoulder to lock Uke's arm. Move in and under to complete the technique. When defending against an attack with a staff, enter and blend with your partner's movement. Place your hands on the staff and use the staff to control Uke's direction. Bring him around and over your hips to finish the technique. Stepping in one continuous movement, use the staff to aid in lifting your partner, causing his arms to cross and lock. Bend your knees and use the momentum to carry him over your hips. Stepping to the side, move as if performing shihonage. Simultaneously place your hand on the sword hilt and turn the blade to make a cut at Uke's legs. In the space created, move in as Uke slides over your hips. Move to the outside, positioning your body and hands as if performing kotegaishi. With a large circular movement, avoid the blade and create an opening. Step in to complete the koshinage. The defense against a knife is similar to that against an unarmed punch, except the distancing and timing must change. Remember to keep your partner moving continuously and to allow for the extra range of the knife blade. For a Yokomanuchi attack, Respond with Tenkan, as if performing Shihonage. Turn Uke's hand over to lock his arm, creating space to move in for the throw. Step aside and blend with the attack. As Uke's momentum brings him around to your back, move in with your entire body. Align your hip and arm into one strong form to complete the technique. Koshinage is considered an advanced technique and should not be attempted by the novice. There is a clear potential for injury to both Uke and Tunage. You should have a strong working knowledge of martial arts basics and should be in good physical condition before learning these throws. To prepare for Koshinage, it is important to strengthen your legs, not so much for the purpose of lifting as for developing your ability to move with agility and accuracy. Repetitive squats and toe lifts are two exercises that will help, as will any other activity emphasizing the lower body, such as biking or hiking. Powerful leg muscles will enhance your ability to easily lower your center and unseat your partner with a koshinage technique. 
When training in the dojo, you may enlist the aid of a partner to practice lifting additional weight. In this case, the point is to learn to properly position your partner and to transfer his or her weight to your own center. The most common ukemi for koshinage is the breakfall, a move which must be learned under the supervision of a qualified instructor. It is probably easiest to learn to breakfall by having an experienced partner assist you. His or her supporting hand can get you started in the right direction and give you an extra boost to help you flip over. By supporting your arm, your partner can lighten your fall and prevent you from landing with full force. Using a cross-hand grab, make a complete roll in mid-air and land on your opposite side, using your free hand to slap the mat. The slap helps distribute the force of the impact. It is extremely important to always hold your head up to avoid striking it on the mat. The next step in Koshinage Ukemi training is to actually take a Koshinage fall, again with the assistance of your partner. When being thrown, allow your free hand to wrap around your partner's body, grabbing his dogi to support your fall. When the action begins, it is important to avoid tensing up, thereby inadvertently resisting the energy of the throw. Instead, relax and concentrate on blending with the movement, flipping over quickly to prepare for the landing. Land on your side, not on your back, and slap the mat with your free arm to distribute the force. Your partner, in taking the role of the nage, should keep his grip on the cross-hand grab and hold on to your arm throughout the technique. Each throw will always be unique in its timing and position, and therefore each breakfall will be slightly different. The challenge of koshinage ukemi is to learn to spontaneously adjust your body to the throw. Break falls should always be practiced with clear concentration and full cooperation between uke and nage. After reaching a level of competency with assisted break falls, you should begin to practice them on your own. Try to simulate the movements of assisted break falls. Jump high into a forward roll. Your leading shoulder becomes the pivot point around which your body must move. After the flip, your body becomes parallel to the floor and you turn slightly to land on your opposite side. An under-rotation or over-rotation could cause an improper landing, possibly resulting in injury. To avoid striking your head, you must turn your body over in the air before hitting the mat. Tuck your chin as you would when performing a forward roll. The landing position is on your side, not on your back. If you are landing on your left side, your left arm will slap the mat, supporting your head and shoulders and distributing the force. 
Your left leg should be extended and turned comfortably to the outside so that your foot also hits the mat on its side, lengthwise, not on the heel. Keep your legs separated to prevent your knees or ankles from hitting each other. Your outstretched body presents a large surface area for landing. This is an important element in distributing the force of impact. Start with short sessions of breakfall training, working into longer, more advanced practices. Repeated practice will ensure your progress. Eventually, you will develop a kinesthetic memory, recalling the sensations of performing breakfall after breakfall, good ones and bad ones. You will soon find that your body intuitively corrects and adjusts itself to each unique situation. This exercise style, uchikomi, has its roots in feudal Japan. In a time when a man's life very often depended upon his physical prowess, all manner of exercises and methods of training were developed. For uchikomi, a man would tie his obi, or belt, to a tree, and holding on to the ends of the belt, would hit his body into the tree, thus strengthening his hips and developing his center. Uchikome is an excellent means of preparing for koshinage. Today, uchikome is a standard element of training among students of judo and jujitsu, arts in which koshinage is a primary technique. In the dojo, uchikome is performed with the assistance of a partner. The use of partners offers the advantage of practicing koshinage techniques from different positions and angles, as well as with people of different heights and weights. In all cases, when you are taking the role of the nage, you should move directly and forcefully into the space of your partner, bending your knees and staying low and balanced. The uchikomi drills may entail hitting for a specified number of times, followed by a throw, 
or simply hitting a number of times without a throw. The pattern of repetitions for these drills should be prearranged in order for Nage and Uke to know what to expect. When taking the role of Uke, you should stand with your legs slightly apart to allow space for Nage to enter. As Uke, your center should be low and stable to receive the impact of your partner's body. Remember, you are serving as the tree, and as such, you should be stable, yet resilient. The hitting portion of the exercise is an excellent opportunity for center training. The throwing portion gives you the opportunity to practice break falls. On the prearranged count, when the technique is about to take place, absorb Nage's energy of impact. Relax and follow Nage's movement, landing in a break fall. With repeated Uchikome practice, using Koshinage variations and training with a variety of partners, you will further develop your kinesthetic knowledge of Koshinage. You will instinctively know when the Koshinage has been performed correctly. As a Nage, if your legs are strong, your balance is good, and your timing is correct, you will bear the full weight of your partner for only an instant. You will have the feeling of passing through your partner's center. Although it may appear to the contrary, Koshinage is not about picking up and throwing. Instead, it is about blending and passing through. To maintain as much control as possible and to avoid injury, particularly to your head, you should hold on to Nage's lapel when taking ukemi. Stay relaxed and be ready to respond to the motion of the throw, using your grip on your partner to control your fall and landing. Your partner should assist you in easing the fall by holding on to your sleeve or arm and, when appropriate, providing a slight lift. Depending on the dynamics of the technique, it may sometimes be more appropriate to hold on to your partner's belt to ease your fall. Kosadori Koshinage is a good way to begin learning the technique. Starting from a cross-hand grab, raise Uke's arm and move in with your hips. Your free hand may give an assisting sweep to your partner's leg as he moves over your hips. When practicing this throw, you should hold Uke's arm or sleeve to help soften his fall. Your legs should be kept close together to distribute your partner's weight evenly over your center.
Again, starting from Cosadore, move in with your hips, this time letting your arms slide around Uke's back. It is important to keep your feet close together to ensure your balance, stability, and proper alignment. When positioning, bend your knees, blend swiftly into Uke's space and under his hips, and then straighten your legs as Uke slides over your hips. From Cosadore, grip your partner's sleeve at the elbow and use his arm to extend his balance upward. Drop your center under his, then move your body in, passing through to complete the technique. As with all koshinage, it is essential to keep your feet together when throwing. Uke should hold on to Nage's lapel to ease the fall. Koshinage is an effective technique when working with a person who is taller than you. Your advantage lies in the fact that your hips are lower than your partner's, thus simplifying your moves and making the throw easier to execute. It may be, however, that the tall person is heavy. In this situation, it is particularly important to use the momentum of the attack to your advantage. You will find it necessary to keep your uke moving so that you will avoid bearing his full weight when performing the throw. Blend, move under, and pass through in an uninterrupted flow of energy. When performing koshinage with a partner who is shorter than you, you must bend your knees deeply to lower your hips well beneath your partner's center. This is necessary not only to execute an effective throw, but also to ensure the safety of your uke. It is not easy to practice koshinage with a shorter person, but doing so offers very valuable training and should be a part of your regular koshinage practice. You must learn to make your movements very precise and controlled. Your legs must be strong and your body aligned, and you must have well-developed centering ability. Koshinage may be performed under a number of different circumstances and against many different attacks. 
the nature of the attack determines the Koshinage response. Some versions of Koshinage may appear to be rather simple and straightforward, while others may be complex and quite convoluted in their movements. In all cases, a common factor is apparent. The energy of the attack must not be stopped. You must enter into it and must allow it to continue, using the momentum to assist you in completing the throw. If you impede or stop the momentum, Uke's movement will change. You will then be confronted with his or her full weight and stable center and will have a difficult time with the sweep and throw. Let's watch. With practice, your understanding of movement and energy will deepen. You will begin to connect your center with that of your partner and focus on swift, fluid movement. You will perform the technique with your entire body and center, using your arms only to assist. If you blend perfectly, your partner's body will naturally be in the right place in order for you to pass through. With Hakama removed, it is possible to more easily observe the positions of Nage and Uke, the positions of their hips, legs, and feet, and the relationships of their centers. Again, let's watch.
Koshinage techniques are some of the most difficult techniques to accomplish, and in the beginning, cooperation between nage and uke is essential. Safety should be a primary consideration, since there is potential for serious injury. Koshinage training should be undertaken only after you have had experience on the mat and feel confident in your ability to adjust and adapt your movements to the dynamics of the situation. Taking the time to lay a good foundation to do the groundwork will soon pay off in your training, both as nage and as uke. The skills and understanding gained through Koshinage practice will naturally transfer to other aspects of your training. Of the thousands of martial arts techniques, Koshinage has its own special appeal, probably because of its effectiveness and dramatic results. Koshinage graphically demonstrates many of the principles of martial arts training, centering, balance, connection, and integrity of movement. With dedicated practice, the power and beauty of the movement can be felt and understood. <laughs> 